Start over. Stop. Say, please. Please introduce yourself. I am Neil Klassen. I am the president and designer in chief of So Showcases. Tell us about So Showcases. Showcases started in Holland in the 1960s at Schadebo. Um, my father brought it to North America in the 80s. We um, we changed it to So Showcases because Schadebo is both hard to spell and to pronounce. Um, back then, we started by supplying mainly the art world. Um, but quickly we got into some excellent clients like Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, Royal Dalton. Um, and now you'll find us all over North America in museums, stores, corporate offices, all over the place. If customers were to describe so showcases in three words, what would they be? I think they would use words like quality, timeless, and definitely beautiful. Now what makes so showcases different? Um, they're different like a Mercedes is different to a Lada. <laughs> the, uh, the first part's the process. Before we build a display case, we, we think about what we're trying to display. We ask all kinds of questions that uh, most people don't usually care about. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it's in how they're built. We, uh, we build in excellent ways. Uh, we use a proprietary clamping system that is absolutely state-of-the-art. And we, um, we work to a millimeter tolerance, we, uh, and we constantly innovate, we constantly perfect all the little components that go into a, into a display cabinet, uh, which is why they last. I mean, I see out, out in different places, I'll see cases that we supplied back in the 80s, and they're still working perfectly, and looking great, and looking modern. How would your employees or coworkers describe you? Um, I think uh, I think my coworkers would definitely describe me as hands-on. Um, I'm always in the shop tinkering with things. Um, they would describe me as creative because I'm always throwing new stuff at them. And um, I see them very much as uh, my partners, and that's how I work with them. And I think they see me as a partner as well. What are the key elements of good display design? The most important thing to think about when you're planning and display is what you're trying to display. The display cabinet should never be the center of attention. The focus should be on what you're displaying. Um, so the elements that are important to achieve that are primarily proportion. You've got to make sure that the, the display itself fits into the area where you're putting it. And secondly, that it has to be the right size of a display for what you're displaying. Uh, and I'd say one of the biggest mistakes that's often made is that people, uh, people use far too small a shell space to display something. Secondly, um, you know, you have to think about the story that you're trying to tell. I mean, if you're trying to brand a product, then clearly your colors are very, very important in what you use. And also, um, the materials that you use, you know, and is it a modern product? Does it need modern materials? Is it a more natural product? Do you need natural materials? Those kind of things. And finally, you know, lighting. Uh, one of the funniest things that I hear is people going, well, does my showcase have a light? And my question would always be, well, what are you trying to light? Because, you know, you have to think about the intensity of your light, the color of your light, um, where you're pointing the light from. There's so many things that happen with lighting. I'd say those are the key elements, yeah. How do you feel about the industry today? Oh, I, um, I'm very optimistic about the industry because I love what's happening around the world. Um, I definitely believe that the pendulum is swinging the other way. The, um, I think people are tired of you know, a bunch of cheap imported crap, to be honest. You know, I think people are going back to quality. Um, they're... Uh, People don't want to be mindless about what they're doing. They want to think about what they're doing, you know, and it's um, that's personified in people going to environmental issues and being concerned about fair trade and things like that. Um, and I'm, I think that's a wonderful thing because that's exactly what we're doing and that brings people back to us. Absolutely. So what's next for Social Showcases? Um, well... Next for showcases, obviously, the word's getting out, so we're beginning to tackle much bigger projects. Uh, we've just completed a huge rollout for the Royal Canadian Mint and Canada Post. Uh, we send about a kiosk a week to the United States, um, so 
yeah, the word getting out is what's going on. What's next for um, for our development? So we're coming up with a brand new suspended retail table and those horrible kiosk um, carts that you see in malls. We're about to revolutionize those. Excellent. We'll be talking with you soon. Great. Cool.